Breaking news, Nigerians. Confusion brews as Governor Shei Makindi of Oyo State denies a statement made by President Bola Tinibu that the federal government gave $570 billion to all states in the country. Makinde said this while addressing Nigerians in a broadcast during the hashtag End Bad Governance Nationwide Protest Against Hunger and Hardship. President Bola Tinibu had said his administration had disbursed the sum of 570 billion naira to all 36 states. Shei Makinde noted that the states has not known of such a grant. He responded to the question from the concerned citizens of Oyo State regarding the claims that the FG gave states over 570 billion as some kind of hardship funds for uh, the citizens and stated that they did not in any way receive such money from the federal government, that they did not receive such money, such grants from the FG. He further explained that the loan given to his state came in two trenches, saying that all your state got $5.98 billion in the first trench and $822 million in the second trench. So, responded that Oyo, did, uh, Oyo State did not receive any money or any grant from the federal government. So my country people, there seem to be a little bit of confusion and mix up in this um, story from Shei Makinde, what is really happening. The federal government, the presidency made statement that they, they disbursed this money to all state governors. Now a state governor has also kicked against it, saying that it's a lie. They did not receive this amount of money. So who do we believe in? Who do we believe? Is it the state governors or the federal government consigning these funds being given to all state governors in Nigeria? This is actually unbelievable. And I am surprised that according to Shea Makinde, uh, the, the money sent to these 36 states has not even been sent by the federal government despite the claims made by the FG. This is coming from the same Shei Makinde that was against the financial autonomy of local government area when he made it known that he is not in support of it indirectly. Now the 700 and the 573 billion purportedly released to state by President Bola Tinibu when he announced this during his nationwide broadcast last Sunday was allegedly a World Bank funded program to mitigate the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic in Nigeria. Investigations also revealed that the funds also uh, predate the current economy, even though the president said that during the broadcast that over 570 billion had been released to the 36 state uh, governments in Nigeria to expand livelihood and to support vulnerable uh, citizens that they've not even received this money also more than um, according to the president he made it known that a lot of nigerians would benefit from this grant but state governors are denying the fact that they've not received this money from the federal government because this money is ought to um, address the hunger and the hardship in nigeria it's more like a palliative for Nigerians where he, where they noted that this money should be dis disbursed amongst uh, the most vulnerable people in the society. So I don't know how they went about the money. And now that Tinibu has made this broadcast that this money would impact and support uh, a lot of vulnerable Nigerians and it would assist small business owners. Shei Makinde is saying that Tinibu did not send this money. So what do we really believe in? Yes, Tinibu had gave his uh, presidential broadcast on Sunday uh, by 7 a.m. on Sunday where he addressed Nigerians on the violent protest that was unleashed in some states in Nigeria and how he understands the pains of protesters and young Nigerians who deserves a better progressive country. Also noted that he will make sure that their aspirations will be fulfilled. He also uh, noted how he was taken aback and mostly pained by the loss of lives in Burunu, um, in Kano State, in Kaduna State, because of the destruction of um, 
you know, properties. They were uh, they were scenes of looting, uh, looting both government owned enterprise and also private enterprise in the state with the destruction of properties and, you know, with the violence in the state. The president also uh, commiserated with families uh, of those that died during the protest where he advised the uh, the masses to put an end to bloodshed and violence and destruction. So the president noted that he knows that he has a lot of work on his plate, but he's doing his possible best where he urged the organizers that they should create a room for dialogue, the organizers of the protest, that they should create a room for dialogue between the youth and the government so that they can negotiate, so that they can discuss. Tinibu gave his vision for Nigerians, how he would do this and how he would do that and what he has done so far and other speech. But Nigerians were looking at one particular thing for the president to, you know, talk on how the prices of goods and services would be reduced because of the hike in petrol uh, in petroleum products. But Tinibu did not make, make any mention of that. He was talking about the scheme, uh, the empowerment scheme that will be given to youths and you know how to grow small businesses and uh, small business enterprise and all of that. So a lot of people did not really uh, battle the president's speech because they were looking for one thing, but it was definitely missing. Tinibu, uh, in conclusion, had told um, the, 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 the security agencies that they should go ahead and maintain peace and order in the country. But he did not ask of the probe of security officials who killed protesters. He did not call for the probe. He did not condemn those actions. He did not. And this really angered most Nigerians to an extent that the next day after that uh, after that um, statement by the president, most people trooped out the streets in masses protesting against the president because the speech had really angered um, Nigerians. So I made this President Bola Tinibu's uh, broadcast to the nation. Tinibu had made this statement according to the, uh, according to the governor of your state, Sheyu Makinde. But till date, the states are yet to receive this money. So this uh, money, now is it an audio money or what's really happening? Where did this money go to? Where has it gone to? If the federal government has not relieved this, released this money to state governors, so where is the money? Regardless of them saying, yes, they have disbursed this money. So guys, I'm dropping here. Come and share your thoughts on this in the comments section. Thank you.